Howdy everybody, how everybody's fucking doing? Uh, I was thinking about what to do for a video and I was like, hey, I'll do a video about the word fuck since I say it so much in my videos. Uh, when I say fuck, I usually don't mean it as, uh, <clears throat> as, uh, I don't usually say it with bad intentions. I don't usually say it in anger, but there are the occasions in a video when I do say it with in anger, but I usually don't say it in anger. And fuck is such a versatile word. Uh, it can mean, uh, fellow, in the case of George Carlin calling himself an old fuck, and he even said that he called himself an old fuck, and he said fuck in that context means fellow. Which I consider myself fat fuck. <clears throat> now, uh, George Carlin is a huge inspiration to me because of the sheer fact that he said what he means and he he, he said what he meant and he didn't compromise at all. Um, he said that there are no bad words; it's only intentions behind the words that are bad, which is true. You can say almost anything. But, I guess have good intentions. There are a few words that, uh, I don't know, people can say, but you get admonished for it. Uh, I just, I guess you have to be careful with what you say. Uh, like, I never usually say the N-word, or I never say faggot, usually in a video. Unless I'm discussing someone who has said that, and like, I usually never bring it into a conversation because of I don't want to offend people um, just because that's not the kind of person I am uh, but I guess saying the word fuck shit piss cunt cocksucker motherfucker tits can offend people who are really really weak of constitution and are just weak people and can't take a fucking joke or to have a bad word spouted at them uh, Penn and Teller did a uh, show uh, an episode of bullshit about profanity and people who want uh, profanity to be eradicated in I guess that sense of the word uh, don't want swearing at all and that's fucking stupid uh, one person actually said that you should say Santa Faca, Santa, Santa Faca I think that's how you pronounce it which meant holy cow and they just said that that, it's whole, that translates literally to holy cow in essence and that's derogatory towards uh, Hindus who find uh, cows holy and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, that, those kind of people are just fucking idiots and completely an utter idiocy that would try and have that kind of stuff. But swearing, to uh, Lewis Black said it the best, uh, swearing is uh, words that we use when we're frustrated, angry, full of rage and there are yes there are all different levels of pissed off and those are the like many different forms but I mean yes swearing is a way that we vent our anger without taking a tire iron and bashing someone upside the head with it or beating someone with a small child as it were whichever weapon you use beating someone down with it uh, I usually don't swear really um, I'm pretty soft-spoken in public. If you meet me on the street, you will not know it's the same person. Just because I don't swear almost any time in public. I tr at least I try not to swear, but I do swear sometimes when I'm like, can you believe this shit? What the fuck's going on? What the fuck is that? Like that kind of stuff. I usually don't swear around children because of... Uh, I don't think they need to really know swear words, and it depends on how young they are, um, and stuff like that, but, yeah, but, there's no evil intentions with me saying fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tits, uh, piss, and all those things, it, 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 there are never any bad intentions for me if you hear those words, unless you're a religious conservative who uses the Bible as a soapbox for your hate, in which case I'm going to beat you down with a tire iron as saying you're a fucking asshole. Um, but yeah, other than that, my words have no ill meaning. Um, 
if it's a really serious story that I'm doing, I don't usually swear because it, I frown upon it. Uh, because I'm trying to get a point across, and if I swear, people are going to say, you're just using swearing to do something and not make a point and shit like that. But I'm trying to make a point, but I, I, I don't swear usually in a serious story. Like, I didn't swear in uh, my memorial to my one of my favorite teachers, uh, Mr. Tressler, who me and my sister both had. Um, and I'll do another video where I'll give you more of a background, but I won't tell you where I'm living. It's not out of cowardice. I just don't want hate mail and shit coming toward to the house, so I'm not gonna tell you where I live. Uh, I'll give you the general whereabouts, but I won't tell you anything. But uh, I'm gonna give you more of a background. Uh, more in-depth background because I think that if you've been sticking around for me this long, you deserve to know some background information. Even though I've done background inform uh, background information videos before, but not as in depth uh, in depth as I might want to be. Um, and I'm surprised to say this, but I have 43 subscribers, so I might actually have to do a crap load of shit when I get it, which is gonna fucking suck because if I get 50 subscribers, that means I'm going to have to do some outrageous shit, which I'm going to do, and I'm going to have to be forced to, and it's going to suck, And um, but I'm, I said I'd do it, and I'm going to have to do it, and I'm, uh, I guess that's all we're really going to talk about for fucking sake, but I'm Resonator Zen, peace, love, harmony, and fuck is a word I love to say. Because it has so many different connotations. Peace out, guys.